with sports director Jason Barr. Returning to his roots, long before Chip Hale stepped on a major league field, he stepped on Kindle Field. Today, the new Diamondback skipper returned to Arizona. Our new sports reporter, Ashley Brewer, chatted with Hale at the place where he spent four years as a Wildcat. They discussed everything from his days at UA to how he will help turn around the Diamondbacks. So, Chip, it's been a while since you've been out here on this field. What is it like to come back? It's, well, obviously, it's different with all the football stuff out here, but uh, it drums up a lot of memories, good memories for me. Um, you know, this is where I got started, uh, really learning how to play baseball. You know, high school was great, but uh, my college times here with Coach Kendall and uh, Coach Stitt and Coach Wing were, were probably the most special times of my life. What did you learn from your time at the U of A that you can now bring into your new role as a major league manager? Well, that's weird. Your base, you know, your base is set up here, and uh, the way Coach Kendall coached, and um, you know, always being positive, and when things were going really good, he would kind of. That's when he would give us some constructive criticism because he knew we could take it. When things weren't going so well, he tried to build us up and, and get our attitudes back up. But um, just you know, all the things I learned here from him, being a good man. You're coming in at a tough time. The Diamondbacks are coming off a disappointing season. What is it going to take? to improve next year. <laughs> well, the one thing when you have the worst record, you get the number one pick. So we're going to get some a real good player that comes in and maybe hopefully in a few years can help us. Um, but we just, you know what, like we said earlier, a lot of injuries happen to this ball club. Um, and, and when you inj get injured in the major leagues, you know, we talked about kids coming up to the big leagues that weren't ready. So it's hard to win. And one of the things you're doing in your first week is calling each yes. player. What are you saying to these guys? I'm just introducing myself so they know who I am because really this is where this whole thing starts, the trust issue, and I want them to know I got their back. And I've told every guy so far, hey, if there's an issue, you read something on the Internet, you hear something on TV, call me. We want people to be excited. We want people to have energy and pride in what we're doing. So that's the biggest impact I want to leave because, you know, the X's and O's, we're going to hit and run here, we're going to bump, we're going to squeeze. Those things will take care of themselves in the field. But the first thing, like you said, the first thing we have to do is to build these guys back up and let them know these are they're all major league players. They might be young, some of the guys, but they have to realize they can do this. Good job, Ashley. And we should mention that the red-blue scrimmage for UA basketball is tomorrow.